In Windows 10, there's a new start menu. To open up the start menu, just simply click on the Windows logo here, or on my mouse, I just click a button. And then when you bring that up, you can see all of the things on in front of you. So for starters at the bottom left, you can see all apps. All apps basically brings up every application you have installed on your current device. Going back, you have power, which allows you to restart, shut down, and sleep settings which brings up you know the settings file explorer which brings up file explorer basically being you know your central files then you have this arrow here which brings up more things that you have pinned and stuff I'll unpin this cuz it's it's a duplicate and then you have most used here you have your name here which you can click on and lock and switch user accounts and change account settings or you can have your tiles here and basically what tiles are are anything you've installed on the Windows Store like I said um, you can also click on the Windows Store to download more which is in another video you can resize these tiles to different sizes so you can see small sizes are any of these size icons you can choose the largest size for some applications you can choose wide size for some applications and basically I can tell you the applications depending on what the developer enables is depend will allow you to change sizes so some developers only allowed it to go to this basic box medium size icon so therefore this icon or tile is med can only be medium but this icon or a tile can also be large or whatever you choose to make it Another way you can do to remove tiles from here, if you are familiar with Windows 7 and previous that did not have these, if you do not like these or if they're distracting to you, all you have to do is right click any of these or tap and hold and then you'll simply be able to uninstall. You can pin to taskbar instead or you can just unpin it from start. So for instance, I'll right click this, unpin from start and there you go, it's gone. And I can just move this over. Maybe I want to make this thing wide again and there you go, just like that. I've replaced it and now it is gone. So if you remove all of your tiles here or icons, whatever you choose to call it, you'll pretty much come up with a Windows 7 style start menu. Another thing you can do with this start menu that is different from others is you can resize it to different sizes. So you can make it very small, you can make it very large. I'm just going to keep it about in the middle. You can make it very long if you like Windows 8 and you like it very you like to have your start menu very long you can do that and then there's various other things you can do and depending on how many tiles you have on your start menu determines how much scrolling you're gonna have to do if you're familiar with Windows 8 tiles do not go left and right anymore when you scroll up and down it does not scroll it left and right it just goes up and down like any phone or any web page that you'll browse so that is the Windows 10 start menu